So we're late to the party again, and today I have Anthony with me playing. How's it going, Anthony? Fine. Good. You played a lot of adventure games in your younger days? The Missile Command? Missile uh, Command. I don't I know had, if that's really uh, an adventure game. Okay. But... Well, I mean, it, it, it taught me about war. <laughs> and so the, I, and I, the I played, uh, of such I played war. only <laughs> just to shoot things from the sky from the ground. Uh, what else have I played? Play, back back in the day, uh, did you play like King's Quest, Police Quest? You know, uh, for the purpose, of, maybe for the purposes of this video, I have. I okay, King's sure. Quest. I uh, <laughs> I like I like the beginning, where it started, and uh, somewhere in the middle where things started happening, and at the end where it's finished. No, I was, I played the uh, what do you call it the um, the Nintendo, the NES. No, the other one. Oh, way back, way back machine. Atari. Atari twenty six hundred chess. Perfect. And, uh, that perfectly qualifies so I, you to join me on a chat about adventure <laughs> games. Okay. So anyway, the game today is um, a spellcasting 101, Sorcerers Get All the Girls. Which is the truth. Yes. That's been my That's experience. Right. So I'll uh, give you a brief recap on what we've done so far. We rescued... His name is Ernie Eaglebeak, the hero of the story, and we got him away from his evil stepfather, and he's enrolled in Wizarding College at Sorcerer U. And uh, mm -hmm. he's wandered around the grounds a little bit, checked out some of the rooms. We were up in his dorm, and uh, he watched some people play a role-playing game called Malls and Muggers, and uh, he's wandered back to Melting. So he's watching people playing video games? That's yeah. The, yeah. That's a video game? You, yeah. you as a, as, as, you're controlling him... Watching people playing yeah, video games. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So he's come That's back sick. here to Melting Wolf Hall. Most of his um, classes take place in this lecture hall. And I'll give you, I'll, I'll just bring up the inventory so you can see what we're holding. He's got the newspaper, he's got a pack of cigarettes, newspaper. a notebook, oh, a spell book, and a registration form. I'll examine the spell book so you can see the spell we're carrying. We've only got one so far. Okay. Spell book. We've That's got a right. bip spell. I'll cast it so you can. Just the days when people are carrying around packs of cigarettes. Yeah, exactly. And a spell book together, actually. I could. I should try smoking. I tried smoking it during the lecture, and uh, I got yelled at by the instructor. So. Well, it's it's that's that's par for the course, I think. <clears throat> So I don't understand this. So it gives you a pack of cigarettes, but every time you try to uh, smoke, it gives you a hard time. It says it, says it leads to like worse habits like sniffing wallpaper paste and trying fat ha diet. Yes. Fat diets. Yeah, that's, right. that's true to life. Yeah. That's true. So, uh, sorry, a brief recap how the game works too. It's a point-and-click adventure game, so all the verbs, all the actions you can do are on the left-hand side, and they're mm -hmm. alphabetized, so I can actually scroll on. There's quite a list of them. And it then, looks like a lot. Yeah, and then uh, next to that is a list of everything you can see. Just under save, it says screw. Does, does, that, does that if you're like going to build something? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's when you go to Ikea. Okay, so then somewhere in the game, build a table. Right. And so I can hit the words. You can hit the word screw, and then we can watch you build a table. Right. That's yeah. a lot of words. And then everything you can interact with is next to it. Everything you can yeah. see. We already read the newspaper, and it's pretty boring. I don't think there's uh, much to that, except I don't think we. Ended this is up a general with... newspaper. Like it could be any year. Newspaper. It's called the Source. It's, like, it's like the somebody? college. It's like the college newspaper. It's called oh, the source. Okay, the sorcerer's source, I think it's called. And it's got a. All right. It's got a number of different sections. I wanted to read. I don't think we read the sports section because I just want to uh, catch the latest Quidditch scores. Or wait, I don't think this game has. Does Quidditch. it say that? No. So they're the Hellhound Piglets. Yeah. Exactly. Is that the name of the school, or is it the no? Melting it's just it's Wolf just your piglets. their sports team. No, it's the Hellhound Piglets. It's the sports team. Okay. I think I read this one already. And just to give you oh, a quick, look, like... there is a trap door, but okay. it tells you that this. always leads to things. It tells you this. 
Okay, so it's too heavy to lift. Yeah. Did we give out Kearney insurance? Is there such a thing I as Kearney so. insurance? I don't Not in the game. So this is the map of the university. Yeah, we, and you can see that we're here. And then yeah. I think that trap door leads down this ladder to like there's underground catacombs or chambers or something down here. So okay, that's, we got to figure out how to open that. Really like that. And I think last game too, we were in the, we were in the simulation lab where you sit down and it like shows you a you enter this fantasy, but I screwed up and fell out of a tree and got eaten by piranhas, so I didn't get a very good score. Yeah, that would do it. I mean, I I, I would guess the piranha situation would be. And then there's also perilous. underneath the picture, there's um. It shows you where you are, and then there's a clock. So you, there's a certain amount of time's ticking away in the game. Every time you do an action, time advances a little bit. So it helps you keep okay. track of where your uh, lectures are. But it's it's evening now, so I don't think there's any lectures. So in the game, you can sit down and listen to a lecture. Yeah, you can so actually. It's a, it's a, you can actually. Oh, that's. And it's that's boring. very modernized. And it's very boring. We'll probably it's a boring end, lecture. We'll probably end up doing that. <laughs> and then uh, okay, yeah, it's a really. I'll I'll, uh, I'll have to go out for during that that brief time right. for my comment. Yeah, that's good. That this is a lecture. This is the library, game. and uh, we uh, I haven't been here yet actually, so I'm just reading the text. A small sign. There's lots of plaques and signs in this game, but so far they haven't really told me much. Book on the shelf of new arrivals catches your eye. It's a popular new bestseller. Well, that's pro I wonder if it's Harry Potter. It could be, or uh, could be anything that's uh, Reed in, be an Archie comic. Access to the popular. stacks is restricted to upperclassmen. Okay, so you got to. Uh, huh, how would you have have sex with a professor? I Whoa. guess to get there. Examine popular book. That's the one I'm talking about. It's a copy of Endgame Surprise, the hot new novel. Got a stroke of luck to find it. Hmm. I wonder if that's uh, Who's sitting on the a shelf? joke. Stroke? Yeah. <laughs> or luck. <laughs> I don't know which one. Exactly. Take book. Yay! Yeah, hands on and stroke in this. I'll show you the score so far. We've got 43 out of 1,000. Okay. Now that is kind of low, but it could be high if I knew what the numbers really meant. Oh, you're playing in naughty mode. Yes. I figured that out last okay. game that we can switch to naughty mode. Right. But I haven't seen a lot of naughty, naughty stuff so far. Right. Should I put the candles on and lower the lights? Stuff like that? Yeah, exactly. There's no Leisure Suit Larry uh, scenarios this, yet in this game. This leisure Suit Larry. Then we're, now we're talking. Yeah. This gives you a rank of level one. So yes. we are kind of early in the game. Yes. You haven't bought anything. It's looking for exits. Uh, mm -hmm. A ladder, like, I wonder what happens if I climb the ladder. I'm not supposed to. I'm, it's supposed to be restricted to upper class. You haven't got your hernia insurance, bro, so it should be okay. That's true. Your fear of heights insurance, maybe. I just got yelled at by a nymph. Um, You're not getting up these stairs, punk. Is it in the game? Or a neighbor? No, in the game. <laughs> okay, I didn't see anything there, so I just don't want to comment on that. Back in Melting Wolf. Oh, the whole game's on aerial view, right? Well, no. It's, uh, like, it's, it's not like Google Maps. Sorry, Google I actually should have, you're right, I should have, um, I should have had it on picture. Oh, we were still back in the uh, medieval yeah. fall. It's because I had the map up. Yeah, yeah, now I know we are. I just want to, it looked like a big pool on this on the side. We can also just it, it describes if you look at the um, top left, there's a compass rosette, and you can uh, click on yeah. that. You can click on that way to go in new directions to this courtyard that we're That's in. That's a nice area. There. I already made a strange love reference, so you don't. Is have, that a man in the gun? In I think he's. It looks like a man in the gun. I think it's probably you, somebody uh, on his iPod. Okay, <laughs> so that's how we we're gonna. Reference the game. You'll build technology, and I'll do, <laughs> I'll do uh, spy violence. So let me just check the map out. Is this what it is? Somebody? No. I, it now it starts it's just, to look uh, like somebody. It's just, uh, just you know, glitch. scenery. It's just scenery. 
So we're there right now. Oh, it is scenery, so it's supposed to be so it's not really a man at all. I was getting excited there because yeah, you know, I don't think it's anybody we can talk to. As I said, you anytime can... a man would again enter the field, Raymond Chandler, man man enters, and uh, we got action. It's weird. There's a cafeteria, but there. we you know we have two pigeons. That's almost like action. Cafeteria, caf it, area. Here, I've never yeah, been let's here. Go. Okay, I've never been go. here yet. There we go. So we have a cafeteria. We have um, exit line long tables <laughs> and a and a bucket of steam water. It says it's so, uh, a cross between raw sewage and toxic waste, so it doesn't sound very appetizing. Oh, okay. No. No. I don't know what the deal even, is. Even if, it isn't a, even if it isn't a cross between, if it's just one or the other, it doesn't sound right. I keep getting uh, <coughs> chastised by these nymphs. That's for cooks, not crooks. Funny. Mm. A playful kick in the shoulder. Yeah, as opposed to like a vicious yeah, one. But the nymphs are little, little little flying things. Are they gonna be little flying things? Yeah, they, I think they're so. Nymphs? They're like pixies. They're not. Well, you're thinking. Okay, of, you're I thinking of the. Much. You're thinking of the short thinking, form for nymphomaniacs, and I don't think they're. Yeah, they're actually those. kicking in the shoulder. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be. Hey, that's a playful kick in my shoulder, and I. There's Donkey Dung Hall. This is where we registered. Cafeteria. Okay. Let's keep going back south, back Guano Court. Oh, back Guano Court. Okay. Yeah. Frog Kisser House. Reference. These are the guys. They're playing malls and muggers. Okay, so one's an astronaut. The other guy's a 1940s uh, private uh, newspaper man. Yeah, oh, private oh, dick oh, yeah, or okay. newspaper yeah, man. Newspaper man, you're right. Yeah, the other guy exactly. just this guy with a mullet. It looks like um, uh, one of the Wilson brothers. With Luke Wilson? Yeah. yeah, it probably is Luke Wilson because they're, they're uh, what's, what's the other Wilson? I don't think it's Luke Wilson I'm thinking of. It's the other one. No, it's the other one. Yeah. The guy in... Uh, the wedding Crashes. Yeah, exactly. And every other movie. I just, every noticed other a, movie. I just noticed there's a rug here. Examine rug. And I think it's on the I'm floor, not rug. on somebody's head. Okay. So why would an astronaut be there? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe <laughs> Buzz Aldrin was a friend of the producers of this game. I'm not sure. That's right. Maybe he gave. Maybe he gave. Like, why don't you have a? Why don't you have an astronaut in your game? And then um, they realized it, so they had to uh, give him props. So these guys are playing, and one's on the phone, smoking a cigarette and reading from a paper. He's got. If you notice, his phone is connected to a banana. That is true. Let's that way. I was, was going to comment that it's, 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 it's yeah, it's a banana phone. Maybe so Raff, it's maybe like... Raffi uh, sponsored this game. <laughs> banana phone. Let's see, serpent heads I'm are already tell me dead. Kids. Yeah, they don't do anything. The pillar doesn't do anything. The plaque is useless. So I don't know if there's anything in here we can interact with. There's a table. That's about it. Maybe examine the table. Examine table. Small so the and finely polished. Itself. Yeah, they're playing. They just keep playing the game, and it recycles after a while. The last episode, we were, we ran through it. It's like and a very missile strikes stri strikes your investment banker. You know, now, where was that during the financial collapse? Where were our missiles pointing? North is uh, the house master suite. Professor Ticking Clock's wife, Hillary. Young enough to be your sister, but your glands never react this way when you look at your sister. These guys must have just had a ball just, just, just drinking and just coming up with the first things that first names that they, they can they can connect. Yeah, it's got a lot of silly names. I was trying to think, maybe you'd know this, I was trying to think of uh, last episode that there was a British comic, I think he was probably one of the Pythons, who said that the lowest... Or low, the two Ronnies? He said the lowest, yeah, maybe one of the two Ronnies. He said that the lowest <laughs> c common denominator of comedy is silly names. I, I agree with that. It seems it like it's, it's easy. It's easy way. Yeah. It's. I think maybe John Cleese. I can't remember. So we're digressing, and what's actually happening is the game is getting. A, it's finally maybe getting a little bit salacious because this girl is, uh, this Hillary, is <laughs> seems to be coming on to us. She's wearing a sheer nightgown. Okay. Looks like things are heating up for Ernie. What better time to take a break? Tune in next episode.